talk to, to Dr. Travu of uh, Omnilabs right now, and there's some crazy robot, and the CTO, Jared Go is waving his arms around here, and the robot hands are moving. What is it? What is going on here? What are we looking at? We are looking at custom-made robotic arms that we, we, con we made all of this using 3D printing. And we build 3D printers themselves, and then we uh, print these robots. So uh, our CTO here actually just put this together in, uh, in demonstration to Toto at one point. But now we are taking this product and we are implementing it across the board for so many usage. Okay, so Jared has, uh, this is audio also, so Jared has two little controllers in his hands. He's moving them around and he's uh, manipulating a robot, a couple of robot arms here. So what is it, what is the use case, uh, this is for, for an accessibility standpoint? Can I talk, can I reach? Yes, okay. right over here. So for us, robotics in the future is all about affordability. To solve the problems that really affect the entire world is all about how cheap you can make the solutions. A $20,000 robot arm is not gonna get into homes, but one that's like 1,000 or 2,000 will definitely. So our approach is to really push the envelope with what you can do with 3D printed robotics and get these solutions into the hands of research labs around the world, corporations doing all these things. We have clients in Japan who want us to do cleaning tasks with this arm and all sorts of things. And then we really go from there into all the sort of assistive tasks, taking care of aging, uh, grandmas in the home, taking care of sick kids, you know, allowing them to, to live a life outside of being stuck at home and all this kind of stuff. So I think and that's only possible if these robotic arms can become yeah. uh, more, more affordable. More affordable is the key. So I think it's our big passion. See robots everywhere, but actually helping people, not just taking away jobs, anything like that, really helping transform everyday lives. These look fairly simple. I just see a bunch of uh, uh, joints and, yeah. and cables pulling back and forth. A lot of ethernet cables and, yeah. and, a, and a couple of circuit boards, right? Yes, not yes. that much to it. Not that much to it, but a lot of design goes into it, actually. So well, for sure. example, the cables, you know, picking the right material, uh, all the like the joint angles, the joint strengths, and a lot about motor control. So our philosophy is also for robotics companies, it's better to, to solve the problems in so software and have very simple hardware. Then your your costs are much better than super, you know, expensive custom, you know. It's easier uh, to fix software later. Totally, totally, totally. So, so at some point these uh, robot arms would have uh, fingers yes, and things yes. and be able to hold on to the broom for yeah, me? Yeah, totally. This one's a wiping demo for one of our clients, so that's like a green cloth that's actually a spray. So we were wiping a whiteboard and other stuff, but uh, we didn't hook it up to anything here. We don't want to spray anyone by accident. <laughs> But you can yes. spray perfume. perfume. Yeah, that, that's a good After one. While people at CES Weird. start to smell bad, yeah. might be good. <laughs> that's a good one. We're thinking uh, happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something like that, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> well, this stuff looks really fun. So, if people want to learn more about this, where would they go? They would go to our website, uh, www.omnilabs.com. It's O H M N I L A B S.com. Very cool. Thank cool. you very much for Thank your you time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Allison.